Hey everyone, it's Deborah with Pinching Pesos, and today is Tuesday, so it's They Paid What? Tuesday, and I actually have one of those that you'll be surprised about. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Our sales for the week actually picked up from last week. Um, I am at 19 sales and at $759.56 total cost. <clears throat> so, first up, I started selling parts from the Keurig machine. Um, I was thinking that that series was going to end up needing to be accidentally deleted. But no, I've actually sold um, <clears throat> four, three of the parts, four of the parts out of the machine. One of them actually went Bonanza and I did find out that Bonanza will port in uh, variation listings and it will also be a variation listing so I was really excited about that. Um, so I ended up selling one of the solenoids. I sold the top puncture and I sold um, the water pump. The water pump went for $14.95 over on Bonanza and then the top puncture went for $9.95 and the solenoid went for $14.95 and um, let's see and if we remember I paid that entire machine I believe cost me $5.99 but I've been thinking recently and I was looking on OfferUp and OfferUp is like a local sales uh, app that you can use and Keurigs on there are going for about $40 or $50 so I think if I find some that are in really good condition, I'm just going to go ahead and do quick flips on them um, instead of parting them out. But we'll see. It really just depends on the model and what the, like, the water tank and the, you know, the normal pieces that just easily come off um, are actually going for. So here was a little saving grace on the um, error from last week. And I did find out that I could order that cape from Lego and they didn't charge me anything um, so they're gonna go ahead and send the Elsa cape to my customer but I did also sell just the castle um, and it went on a best offer of let's open the screen 42.50 free shipping um, I did go ahead and put it in a um, in a box I didn't try to put it in a bag um, but it still only shipped at like a one pound rate so anyway, that went ahead and um, brought me back my money, my initial investment. So all of the pieces are now uh, profit. So Elsa was profit, and the hill was profit, and I actually um, also sold Olaf. Um, he's also profit. <clears throat> I sold these Torred wedges. I paid $7.99 for them. I had picked up about four pairs of size 12 high heels. Um, and I don't normally do women's shoes, like uh, dress shoes, because they're such a hard fit. But things that come in like a, an 11 and a 12 generally don't have the same sizing issues that um, I think that a size 6 or 7, 8 might have. Um, they're just, I think almost, it's like the women that wear those sizes, because I know I wear a 10 and a half. Um, you kind of just get used to the fact that your shoes just aren't going to be perfect because they just never are. Um, so anyway, because um, I've sold um, two pairs out of the four pairs of those, um, I didn't get any any issues, but these went for $29.95. Like I said, I paid $7.99 for them. Um, and next up was the Capreso um, grinder. <laughs> this, oh lord. Uh, okay, this was coming out of a working machine, and I was trying to clean the grinder and I made a mistake and so the whole machine ended up coming apart and so I ended up selling the little pieces I sold like a little it was a tiny little uh, gasket that went on the top of the filter basket but if you didn't have it then your water was going to leak all over the place uh, but anyway so I sold this for $30 plus shipping I believe uh, yeah, thirty dollars plus shipping. So uh, the that whole machine cost me six ninety nine. I bought these for a dollar ninety nine each, and I did go ahead and run some auctions last week. Uh, while the auction promo was running, uh, I put seventy five items on auction, trying to clear out um, 
just trying to clear some things out. I mean, money sitting in inventory is money that I could be spending on something else. And I'm not saying that I took a loss on anything. I did profit on everything. But, you know, I'd rather do quick flips sometimes and, and get my money back than wait six months for something to sell. So you'll see a lot of auctions coming up here um, because they end it <clears throat> this week. So anyway, so it's, essentially these cost me $4. I sold them for $14.95 plus shipping. Here's my big turkey. It's a big, giant, inflatable turkey, and he obviously sold for a really cheap price. I had him on auction originally. I had him listed for seventy nine ninety five, um, and I went ahead and, and just knocked him down to twenty nine ninety five as a starting price. Um, I think I paid four ninety nine for him. It was a really low price on my turkey. And I was like an idiot. I don't even think I listed him in time for Thanksgiving. I think there was like a week left before Thanksgiving started. So I didn't do a very good job. Like I've got some inflatable Christmas stuff that I've had for two years that I haven't listed yet. Uh this is a, a clear sounds, clear ring amplifier. Uh this is a signal for people that are hard of hearing or deaf that their phone is ringing. Anytime I see anything that's a clear sounds, I always go ahead and pick it up. Um, I paid $2.99 for it and it sold for $14.95 on auction, pre-shipping, I mean with shipping. Um, so there that goes. Um, these are Johnston & Murphy Penny Loafers. I paid $12.99 for them. Any of the men's shoes are fairly expensive around here. You're going to pay like $9.99, $12.99 is normally the going price for any men's like Oxfords or loafers. Um, unless they're having an off day at the <clears throat> pricing because I, I did pick up a pair for $6.99 last week but that's not common so these went for $39.95 plus shipping um, so it's still a really good profit um, I paid $4.99 for these sandals and I always pick up fit flops, fit flops and sketch or shape ups and anything of the assorted varieties because um, those shoes are very popular with people that have foot problems if you have plantar fasciitis these shoes um, are like a godsend uh, to you and your feet. I have a friend of mine who has a lot of problems with her feet and that's the only thing that she can wear. And since they're discontinued on the shape ups, um, anytime you know you see those or the fit flops, which are the same thing, um, go ahead and pick them up because I do sell them every time. And these ones actually sold for really cheap because they were on auction. Normally on the sandals I sell them for $29.95 plus shipping or I sell them for $39.95 free shipping. Here's some Toms I paid $7.99 for, and those went on auction for $14.95 plus shipping, so a little bit of profit, about $5. And another pair of Toms I paid $4.99, $5.99 for these. Um, I couldn't even find a comparable pair of these, so I think my keywords might have been off. Uh, they were really neat for me to not have found another pair like them. Um, I expected to get more money out of them, but I know my keywords weren't weren't on par. Another pair of Toms you saw in a, I think you probably saw these in a haul video from two weeks ago. Um, I believe I paid $7.99 for these. So that was a quick flip. Uh, these I actually bought at the uh, Goodwill Boutique, which I never go into, but it was actually a really nice experience because it's really small. And so you can kind of get in there and get out of there. I think I was in the store for probably five minutes. It took me longer to check out. Um, I bought these, and I bought a Mrs. T um, tea maker, and it was like $7.99. And these were $12.99, and they were new, like brand new. Those things have not been worn. Um, I know they haven't been worn. You can, I mean, you can tell. Um, I mean, they were very, very clean. Uh, so anyway, these went on best offer for $65 plus shipping. Like I said, I paid $12.99 for them, and I, I got them last, not two days ago, but last Sunday. So they weren't listed for very long, a week. And here's my they paid what moment of the week. Uh, this is a Fantasia Flying Pegasus that I paid $2.99 for. Um, and I sold him for $69.95. You, know, you can see this one right here. And I know it says $149. He has his tag, and that thing has been listed for two years. So anyway, $69.95, I'm happy with. I sent him off, and there he flew away. 
So anyway, there are the sales of the week. It was a much better week this week. Um, Amazon's doing fairly well. I did send, well, I did box up a box, well, two boxes for FBA yesterday, but UPS didn't come and pick them up. Um, but that's it. So you guys have an amazing week. I hope you have great sales as well. Um, I hope this week picks up because I had no sales on Saturday, no sales on Sunday, and I had one tiny sale yesterday. Um, and I think it had a lot to do with the fact, and people can argue with me all they want, but I had a late shipment. I had a shipment that was supposed to be going to Puerto Rico, and the guy gave me an address that wasn't correct. And so the shipment was supposed to go out on Thursday, and I was waiting on address and didn't get anything, so it was late. Um, and so then Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I got no sales until I actually canceled that sale as a problem with address because he had put, gave me a P.O. box for something to ship UPS. And like an hour later, I got my first sale of the day. But it was, you know, obviously probably coincidence, but whatever. I hope I get some sales today. I'm going to be listing because it's pretty sad. So anyway, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all.